In this video, I'm gonna tell you why the company DJI dominates the drone market. 10 reasons why they are head and shoulders above the competition. And that will help you analyze whether DJI is the right brand for you or whether you wanna spend that extra money for a DJI. And also I'm gonna tell you one major weakness that they have, all right? Okay, DJI, you might have heard the brand when you want a drone. This basically, you know, there's a ton of cheap drones they, they wanna push you at Amazon, like $100, $200 drones. And then there's DJI, which never seem to go on sale unless DJI, you know, wants to uh, lower inventory or whatnot. But uh, they really dominate the market and I had a hard time finding competition. Holy Stone, Ruko, uh, Potensic, a lot of the competition, uh, they enter the market and they just, they just leave it because it's too tough too tough to compete against DJI. I wish there was more competition, but I do, I use the, Go, uh, the GoPro drone. Uh, you know, they realize who they are up against and they just abandoned the market. There's the Skydio, very good technology, follow me, tracking, but they, they're abandoning the consumer market as well. Okay, but let me get to the 10 reasons. The number one reason is it flies very well. First and foremost, a drone is an aircraft and it has to be uh, it has to fly well, has to be safe, has to be controllable, and DJI does an incredible job. Meaning it is stable, it is accurate, it goes where you want it to, it keeps its position, uh, you're turning around, um, it, it keeps its spot, it lands in the same place. Also, it's fast, about 30 miles an hour, uh, it climbs very fast, it descends very fast, uh, and it flies really good. In fact, it's so good you could just, even without a camera, uh, it'd still be fun to fly. The number two reason is it has a very good camera with very good image stabilization. So DJI knows the future of drones is with cameras. Three axis stabilization. In fact, all their drones have stabilization. They understand you need that uh, to do a uh, video that's worthy uh, of your efforts. So 1.7 aperture on that and they have two bigger drones. In fact, DJI bought out or invested a majority stake in Hasselblad, you know, the first name in cameras. And all these other ones, they use Sony, Sony sensors or Sony cameras. So Number three is they have superior obstacle avoidance and subject tracking. When you wanna fly this uh, in tight spaces, obstacle avoidance is key because these are not cheap. Uh, $1,000, they have a, they have another one that's about $299. Not everyone's a pilot, not everyone's an RC or is really good at this. So obstacle avoidance is important. It's gonna widen the sweet spot of the of the usage of this from just RC hobbyists to anyone uh, who, who, you know, who can handle a camera or a phone. And with obstacle avoidance, they're able to do subject tracking. Subject tracking, you just draw a, a square around your, your, your body and it's gonna follow you wherever you go or your bike. It's gonna, it's pretty darn good what they're doing. The number four reason why they're so good is the insane miniaturization that they established, uh, especially with the mini series. The mini series is important because the FAA said, hey, it has to be under 250 grams, so you don't have, you don't have to register it. This is Potensic, and this is the, <laughs> the mini. Uh, this is almost twice the size when you do the blades, how big the blades are. So they're able to make it as big as they need to be uh, and still be under 250 grams. So do obstacle avoidance, you need so many sensors. Uh, sensor here, omnidirectional sensor here, side, rear, and bottom sensors, even as an LED light, 250 grams. I mean, the number five reason why the DJI dominates the category is the, the range, the transmission, and the quality of signal. Uh, they're now claiming 20K. <laughs> 20 kilometers of signal uh, with this thing, with your little antennas. And so, you know, 20K is about 12 miles. So 12 miles, you can control this. If you're in a very busy area, a lot of trees, a lot of buildings, a lot of signals, you know, within two miles, you're bulletproof. And it's all about the signal. You know, that way you're safe. That way you, uh, you have confidence that your investment uh, is, is okay out there uh, in difficult conditions. The number six reason why they're so good is their controllers. The controllers uh, and, and your investment with this thing is quite secure. So for the cheaper version, this one, for example, is 750 uh, with a, a controller where you use your phone like this. 
very versatile and if you have a, a phone an old phone sitting around this will work well this one on the other hand uh, is just a beautiful controller uh, it's self-contained it's easier to, to fire it up but having both options is just mind-blowing i'm not sure if another drone company has a, a display screen that is this beautiful and this easy to use number seven reason why they're so good is there's a lot of guidance there is a lot of uh, voice prompts a lot of tutorials uh hey, this thing is super cool it talks to me it says hey home point updated home point adjusted uh, be careful there's uh, there's no gps mode right now so it helps you uh, without annoying you so check it out basically when you fire it up uh, it already knows that you're you could be a first time user and it's going to guide you you don't have to read a, a a crazy big manual right away it's just very intuitive how, how, how they do it with the system number eight reason we're getting down to the line now is basically we have drone insurance drone insurance when you get to the cheap drones, see 300 bucks, 200 bucks, yeah, you could you could lose it, not the end of the world. But this thing is 950 bucks now. But they have something called DJI Care for 90 dollars for two years. Uh, this one is protected. If there's a problem, uh, they are they can replace it twice in in a couple years uh, for for a small fee. I think mostly 60 dollars for shipping. If you lose the drone, meaning you don't have to ship it back, uh, you dunk it in the ocean or in a lake. Uh, they will replace it as well. And, and how do they know uh, that it's in a lake and it's not in your, in your, your cabinet hiding? Uh, they will ask you for a file on this thing. So they will read your last transmission, your last flight, and they will determine exactly where your drone landed and what, what state it's in. So just amazing technology. Right. Two more reasons and then we get to the weakness. The number nine reason is the the customer support. The customer support, uh, the body of knowledge that they have is incredible. DJI knows what they're doing, and basically, there's so many firmware updates. You know, every couple of months, so much improvement happens, uh, fixing bugs and whatnot. But really, they are adding features. Just expect that from DJI. A lot of fixes, a lot of new features uh, to make them even more competitive. And finally. Reason number 10 is they are an incredible company. You know, it made me respect Shenzhen China as a industrial technology powerhouse because they can produce a product like this. So they've been doing these drones for 10 years and believe it or not, they keep improving. Uh, they have 14,000 employees. They have the best engineers. They hold a worldwide competition, a robotics competition where they get the best minds in China and in Asia. Uh, to do to design robots and whatnot. Uh, I think high schoolers and whoever wins they get a job at DJI So they're that good. Uh, they're that good and they keep improving because They are so focused on the technology base that these drones uh, require so an amazing company that keeps improving uh, and finally one weakness that is shared among all DJI drones that I see is the lack of a carrying case. All right, these drones are not cheap. Three hundred to five thousand uh, dollars for these drones. Uh, and this is from Potensic, and they don't have a case, and it's annoying to me. So that's uh, this is from Holy Stone. Just a cool case with molded pieces. They're so key uh, to, uh, for for your drone. Uh, this one comes from DJI, kind of chintzy, and you have to buy it for $40. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what do I need? What, what happens is I end up getting all these, um, these cases. Uh, what do you call these cases? Uh, but you know, luckily I have a bunch of them, but man, come on DJI, give us a case that is like dialed. Give us a free case. That's part of the package, but that's a tiny little nit because as you could tell, the more I learn about DJI, the more I, my mind is blown about how good they are and how good their products are. Thanks a ton.